Hello, in the previous tutorial I've explained how you can send files from your phone to your computer and open those files on your computer. In this tutorial we're gonna do it in reverse. So we're gonna send files from our computer to our phone and open those files. We also use Auto Remote and Event Ghost. In this tutorial I will show you an example for side loading an application on our phone. So let's start the tutorial. Is there a new version of Tasker? There is a newer version of Tasker. The newest version is 4.4b2. You are now using 4.3u4. What would you like to do? Download that file and open the change log on my computer. And as you see, the change log is opened on my computer and the file is automatically downloaded on my computer. So that's a part of my task. But that's not the point of this tutorial. The point is we're gonna send that file to our phone. Also, I could automatically download that file on my phone if I want it. But I don't want to do that because I will explain how you can send files from a computer to our phone. So let's open open that file. Browse and here is a file. So when I do a right click on my file, you can see here send to Nexus file. When I click on that, it will send that file to my phone and it will open that file. Let's do that. Watch my phone and you will see the file is received and I can install that right now. So it's quite easy to send files from your PC to our phone. And now I will explain how you can do something like that. So the first thing we need to configure is our event ghost. Let's open event ghost. And here I'm inside event ghost. And you will see here send files to Nexus 5. And when I open that macro, you will see two things. The first thing is an event and then we use auto remote action so the event is main point sent from explorer point file that's the event you can type it right there or there is another way to do that and that's copying a code so let me open that code and here you will see that code let me minimize my phone right now that's the whole code you have to copy that code copy and go to your event goes let's cancel that also and go to the configuration tree right click and choose paste that's the same I will also add a link where you can find that code so you can just copy that as well or you can use an event main point sent from explorer point file creating an event is quite easy right click and choose add event and then the next thing is choosing an action auto remote send files to nexus 5 so be sure the first thing you need to do is also I've explained that also in other tutorials when you start event ghost you have to register also your uh, device in my case my Nexus 5 so that's the action right here registering on Nexus 5 and then we can send files to our Nexus 5 so right click on that add action then choose auto remote and you will see here send message choose that one and then you will see here your device is listed you can choose device message time to list target password files and browse files let's cancel that let's open that message and you will see here the message is files and the files is this code let me copy that and paste that also in my notepad so you can see what you have to write this is the code you need to to write inside that box okay and as you see that's the same code as this one so you can choose what's the easiest thing for you you can copy that code and when you copy all that code right now and paste it in the configuration tree those two things are automatically created or you can do it manually like I showed you as well that's what you need to do inside your event codes also when I open my file manager on my computer Computer. let's open that again here you can see here sent to Nexus 5 
you can change that as well but default there is only one action and as you see I've created here three actions so I will tell you later how you can do something like that this is important for us sent to Nexus 5 so when I open my event ghost again you will see here plugin auto remote let's open that and you will see here the windows context menu text is sent to Nexus 5 so I'm using that on default there is sent to event ghost you can change that to whatever you like okay let's cancel that so everything is now done inside our event ghost let's open our phone right now and let's open our task and inside tasker i created a task er open files from pc let's open that task and you will see here just one action and the action is open file and the file will be variable er files one auto remote files and the first one that's the only thing you need to do so as you see it's quite easy so let's go back and let's open our profile right now and we see here as trigger auto remote files it's quite easy to get that just by clicking on the plus button then click on states click on plugins and choose then auto remote let's cancel that and the task related to that context is a task that we just created. So as you see, it's quite easy to send files from your computer to your phone. Also in this tutorial, I will give you an extra. Let me open my file manager again. And as you saw here, we have several options. We have sent to Nexus 5, sent to Nexus 10, set as wallpaper on Nexus 5. So how can you create all those options? So now I will explain how you can do something like that. So here we made the first one. You can copy that and paste it. And just for example, I created also a test macro like here. You see here, I changed the event to file two. And then you can choose whatever you want. You can change that send files to Nexus 10, for example. If your Nexus 10 is also registered on your event ghost, you can choose your device, of course. Or you can choose another thing, whatever you want. Once you have done that is still not visible in our file manager so we have to do something else the thing we need to do is change our register inside windows so let's open our register inside windows using reg edit when i want to execute a task inside my windows just type here reg edit choose on ok and then you will see here on the class root the star or the root and inside star you will see here shell default you will see here remove properties and you will see also send to event ghost creating new ones is also quite easy first of all let's open send to event ghost and you will see here another key is command so when i click on send to event ghost you will see here that content inside that is sent to nexus 5 inside command you will see here also a key and the content will be C program files event ghost event ghost point x event sent from explorer point file and then we use person sign one so first of all let's double click on that and you can copy that okay for creating a new one it's quite easy just click on shell right click new and choose key and here you can type sent to galaxy for example and you can change that send files files to my galaxy for example okay that's the text of the context menu and then create another new key and type there command okay inside command you can change that and just paste that what you just copied and change for example file number four let's minimize that and when you want to use that you have to change here for example mean sent from explorer point file four and then it will use that action so that way you can create your own context menus inside here 
So as you see right there, send files to my Galaxy is also added because I added also on my request. So I hope you understand what I was trying to do. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave that on my Google Plus community or my YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.